this is yeah definitely the last time I'll ride a horse in a race professionally and, and to think that I'm doing it in Saudi Arabia, it, well I wouldn't have never thought in my wildest dream that this is what it was going to be. The competitions, 14 riders, four races, each worth $400,000. Is part of the allure the fact that this is a, an emerging state? That is the whole idea. This is a fact-finding mission to come in and see how they're doing it and just to be part of it. I'm so happy about the weight scale. I can have a big steak and everything tonight. <laughs> I was thinking if I have to ride a 56 or something, I'm not going to be very happy about that, you know, because I won't be able to get here and enjoy myself. Lime cordial. Never tasted lime cordial so good. <laughs> Get my shoulder going. It's got a lot of, well, I've got plates and screws in my shoulder, so that's just getting that movement back in there. Feel brand new. Feel good. Let's go home now. Yeah, just chill out and just relax and do a little bit more form. Get myself ready now. Get ready for the big event, big dance. <laughs> my last dance. Yeah. Okay, cheers. I wouldn't believe it. When I had a bit of a lie down before, I couldn't quite shut off because I was actually getting quite nervous. I didn't think I'd get like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm starting to picture how I'm going to ride these horses and picture the outcome, you know? Hey, Dan, I love you. How are you? Hey, Eddie. Yes, nice to meet you. We got here very late because all the security, but no, we're good. We're all good. Ready to rock and roll. I've got your 61 and a half. 61 and a half. Uh, it's way out. I know that, but they want to check our body weight. Oh, we check our body weight, yeah? I mean, it's, been, it's been a bit of a rush, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to slow myself down a bit, you know? I hate rushing. I'll tell you what happens, your first ride really hurts, especially when you've had a break. You know, it's a distance race on the dirt. The horse is going to come off the bridle pretty soon, so I'm going to feel a lot of lactic acid build up in my body. Shane Foley, the won this event last year, gets off to a dream start this time around. It's good to get that first one out of the way because, like I said, I really, <laughs> I really needed it. My legs are like, Whoo. Now we go to the second one, which is on the turf. Glen Boss getting a finish now out of Ra Ed in the pink colours. Watch him go on the wide outside. Here comes 52-year-old Glen Boss on Ra Ed, powering past a lot of them here. Yeah, it's nice to come out here and feel those competitive juices again. Here's the standings. Glen Boss, equal first. It's number five, Kaolan Alkale. Who prevails? That one pulled up making a few noises. <laughs> it was never going to run good, and it ran up to what I thought it would run. It ran last. So that was my weak link in the night. So um, that's fine. And it's, it's going to script. Hopefully, this one's the one. The final and decisive leg of the STC International Jockeys Challenge. He gave me a great ride. I felt like I was a winner at the top of the stretch, but unfortunately he pulled up really lame after the race and he struggled to walk back to the enclosure. So uh, anyway, Aussies. Aussies have done it. It's good. Caitlin Jones on 25 points, and we've had Australia first, Australia third. You are definitely retired again this time. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, this will do me. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, this will do me.